Hi, and welcome back to Magnolia Meadows Homestead. My name is Tiana, and today we tidying up my yard. I need to pull out some sick plants that are being <laughs> destroyed by bugs and slugs and zip, disease. <laughs> and I want to clean up some bits and pieces because it's the first day of spring tomorrow and I would love to be able to get some of my uh, tomato starts and peppers and things in over the next couple of days. I know it's a little bit early to plant these things but because I'm only 25 days out from having baby I thought I'll just get them in and whatever survives kind of survives this year and hopefully I'll feel well enough in a couple of weeks after baby's born to plant out a few things if I lose things so that's what we're doing. <laughs> some of these peas because I would like to save some of the seeds for microgreens and hopefully to start some next year however I actually don't know if I'll regrow this variety in the garden it was prolific but it wasn't very tasty they are the mammoth melting peas from memory inside for a minute <laughs> while it downpours and then I'll bear back out to finish these two tasks and then I guess we'll see what happens next. So I'm back out. It wasn't a very long lived rain. I have popped an umbrella over my camera so that I can just get through it. I'm not scared of a little rain. Um, however, if it does get really heavy, we will go inside. But I really want to just get this ripped out and the broken arch down. So. <laughs> sunflower I was saving for dry seeds but it's covered absolutely covered in aphids and it was getting my way so I added some I'm pretty sure they're red beard uh, onions they are also being eaten by uh, some slaters and slugs 
and whatnot. So I am going to pull out a few of these. I am going to leave the couple like this one that has got a seed head and the ones that are starting to seed. But I'm going to pull out a few and just give them some air so that the ones that are seeding <laughs> have a little more space. Not so close. <laughs> They used to live in my polytunnel before it blew away. <laughs> um, so I'm to move them, empty a few bags of soil, and just tidy up a bit more. I'm sure I'll find another task. So we are now over by the sugar snap peas, which are also diseased and oh, um, getting eaten by slugs and snails. I also wanted to mention that it's not the best time to harvest your peas in the rain or in the wet and it's best to do it when they're dry. However, I kind of just get things done when I can be bothered getting them done at the moment. So that is the reason I am doing it in this weather so don't come at me. Also I know not to seed save from sick plants and I generally don't however these are going to be used as microgreens and it's best to usually let them dry on the plant but they're just being eaten so that's the reason for harvesting them um, I do also have I do also have a few different varieties growing in the garden so these ones were like my first ones that I planted just to see I think I planted these to see if they'll actually grow to be they kind of just made it into the garden when they did there's so many of them yeah I'm gonna harvest all these ones were actually quite delicious. My little humans, my little gum nuts, are always sneaking out into the garden to eat these. <laughs> to harvest the dried sunflowers from behind me. I don't know if you can see them, but they're in that bit over there. Time to chop them out. <laughs> Thank you. 
so the garden's starting to feel a little bit better there's still so much work to be done this rubble behind me was from an old barbecue that used to sit here and I smashed it down when I first moved in and it's kind of just sat there now I'm too pregnant <laughs> to deal with that at the moment but that is going to be a big job once baby's here and I've, I'm feeling more myself so we're just going to have to ignore the mess on this side for now however and I am going to get these two fruit trees in the big blue tubs moved because the blue just keeps annoying me I don't like the blue right in the middle of the garden but other than that, it's looking so it's look really good. Um, I want to stake up the mulberry tree. There are a few trees that I want to pull out of pots and plant into the ground. But again, that's not a job for today. And I also want to fix up my duck run because when the polytunnel flew away, I had half of the polytunnel as the poultry pen and then they had an outside yard and then my duck had her. Uh, kennel as well so she had like a lot of room but I've had to give like a makeshift a little yard because yeah the polytunnel blew away <laughs> which, which was pretty I was pretty bummed about it but it is what it is I'll get a new one maybe a little smaller anyways so I do want to try and get that done but again I don't think I'm going to be able to get that finished today but I would like to get it started I also want to just weed my Jerusalem artichoke bed and my rhubarb bed I don't know if my rhubarb made it <laughs> so we'll have to see while I'm doing that and just gen like a general clean up there needs to be paths <laughs> this needs to be these paths need weeding and oh, there's just so much to do <laughs> but first off I'm going to have a break I'm going to enjoy my nice warm drink which is a decaf for any of these worried about the caffeine <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna plant this little guy he's been sitting on my windowsill and he's dying he had a few friends in there but they died so I'm gonna plant this one in with my rhubarb because it's a different variety to my asparagus but anyway I'm gonna finish my drink and get back on with it and I guess I'll give you another update soon oh but come have a look at this first it looks much better much more tidy oh, hold up I have to walk slowly this baby is making me quite uncomfortable today but doesn't this look much neater? I think so. So this is the last clip for today. Well, I think I unfortunately have pushed myself a little bit far and I have hurt myself. Not bad. Just very uncomfortable now so I'm gonna take my harvest in and I'm gonna go visit my mum for a little while and then hopefully tomorrow I can get some more done so until tomorrow I guess <laughs>